Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I want to show you how to administer eye drops. So the first thing what you want to do is you want to perform hand hygiene and you want to wash your hands. So we're going to do that real fast and use some hand sanitizer. And we're going to don gloves. And after we do that, we are going to first assess the eye. And what we're looking for, we're looking for any excessive redness or drainage. And a lot of times, patients, um, you, they may be getting eye drops because they have an eye infection. And if you're giving it sometimes usually in the morning, that eye may be matted up and closed or have exudate around it. So what you want to do is you want to clean it. So to remove any excessive drainage or crust, you're going to take a washcloth with warm water and you're gently going to start at the inner part of the eye and you're going to work your way outward, just gently removing it. And then you're going to change your gloves and wash your hands and put a new pair of gloves on. Now after you've wiped the eye, what you want to do is you want to do the patient's rights. You want to make sure you have the right patient, the right medication, the right dose, the right route, and the right time. And when you're administering eye drops, you want to make sure that you really pay attention to which eye drops go in which eye because sometimes patients have more than one type of eye drop they're using and how many drops goes in each eye. So be aware of that. Then you need to position your patient. So what you want to do is you want to have your patient tilt their head back and look at the ceiling. Now, if your patient cannot do this, they're in the bed, um, what you can do is you can lay the bed back a little bit and reposition their head with a pillow to help assist them in being able to get in this position. Because we want to do this so whenever we instill the drops, they don't easily leak out and they can go really easy into that conjunctival sac. Now you're going to take your non-dominant hand and you can use e either your thumb or your finger and get a piece of tissue paper to collect any excessive drainage and you're going to rest that on the cheekbone and what you're going to do is you're going to gently pull down on that lower lid to expose the conjunctival sac because this is where we will instill the drops. We're not going to instill the drops on the eyeball over the cornea because that is um, a sensitive area, but in this sac right here at the lower lid. Then you're gonna take your dominant hand and just rest it a little bit above the eyebrow and you're going to um, take the eye drops, put them in between your thumb and your index finger and gently tilt them over. And we're going to instill in the conjunctival sac the prescribed amount of drops. And you wanna be careful not to get this tip in the eye and contaminate the tip of it. So we're going to instill the two drops. One, two. Okay, and then the patient's going to close their eyes and tell them to roll their eyeball around to coat the eye with the medication and dab the eye with the tissue paper to collect any excessive drainage. Now sometimes after you administer eye drops, you may have to perform punctal occlusion. And this is usually done whenever you're administering a medication for a patient who has glaucoma. And it's used for medications like the beta blockers, a popular one like Timol, or any of your medications that end in O, L, O, L, or alpha adrenergic agonist. And to do this, you will take the finger and you will put it to the bridge of the nose over the punctum and and hold it firmly but gently to block the solution from going down into the nasolacrimal duct because if that happens the medication we want to stay in the eye we don't want it to go down through the throat and enter into the systemic circulation because one um, the patient isn't getting the full dose in the eye and second it can cause signs and symptoms that beta blockers can cause throughout the body and we don't want that to happen so let me show you how to do punctal occlusion so after instilling the drops, have the patient close the eye and then just take your finger and you're going to hold at the bridge of the nose where the punctum are and you're going to hold firmly but gently for two to three minutes and have the patient just move their eye around to coat their eye with the solution but just keep those ducts occluded. So that is how you administer eye drops. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.